welcome project review of the week with justin and corey we have a hot one this week polka dot uh Something I, it's a project that I've been meaning to actually dive a lot further into is, uh, especially with the DeFi stuff. Um, there's a couple of their parachains that uh, we'll get into that in a little bit here that I've been keeping a very close eye on um, as they are ones that I want to get in personally uh, for this next run up in cryptos. So uh, without further ado, Justin, you want to share that? You betcha. So coming into CoinGecko here. Talking about Polkadot, number 12 on the market cap. This coin has been quite the ride. You know, this is one that I started trading early, early on, and and it it, it experienced tremendous growth. Um, you know, their involvement with, with Web3 and just making it that much more accessible for developers as well as users is really what, what drove Polkadot to number 12 spot. So a little bit of upside today. Um, you can see they are on their own chain right here in the info section, what we love CoinGecko for. So they got the PokeScan, which is their Explorer. They are widely adopted and supported. It's any any major wallet out there has DOT support for them and massive community behind Polkadot. They're on all social medias. Um, definitely worth checking it out. There's a lot of excitement around this project. So coming down to the chart here, last 24 hours, a little bit of upside, like we said, I'm just going to max all time. So like most most of these crypto assets over the last little bit here, experienced some serious downside, which we look at as opportunity. So 87, almost 88% down from all time high. That's quite the deal. And then from all time low, we're still 146%. So way back here. Um, but yeah, lots of good info. Really, really popular, popular asset and and an ecosystem and protocols. Tons you can do with it. Um, and then the pair chains is what's the most exciting. Anything and 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 widely available. Any exchange, any major exchange that you want to jump on, they're they're there. You can get them and tons of liquidity, as you can see. Absolutely. <clears throat> so it's uh, EVM compatible, uh, very similar to Ethereum. They've made some adjustments or alterations. So that's where uh, Web3, I mean, the website says it all. So the multi-chain vision for Web3 starts here. So um, that's where I'm very excited. Uh, I've got some dedicated sections in our DeFi course on uh, everything Polkadot, including parachains in depth through the ecosystem so uh, if you are interested definitely check it out but this is one that i'm very interested long term um a big one the biggest reason why i've been a bit i've put some other projects ahead of this one um just full transparency is there are some speculations that it could be on the wrong side of the sec's uh ruling here so that's where we have to see with uh, the xrp lawsuit i uh, we were discussing that in the previous um, video, but that's where some clarification um, would be needed, but that's also where there is some room for speculation. Uh, if they obviously are on the right side, there could be some tremendous upside. Um, the wrong side, just like any project in crypto, um, has the potential to go to zero, right? So um, very cool stuff. Actually, Justin alluded to one of the projects that I'm very excited about keeping a very close eye on for the trading midterm trades. Uh, Kusama at the bottom there on the website. It was uh, just had a little article there. <laughs> we don't rehearse this ahead of time. I threw that one in curveball for Justin, but first parachain successfully migrates from Kusama to Polkadot. So um that's interesting. Kilt is actually one I've been hearing a lot about. So that's probably why. But um, lots of cool stuff, like all websites uh, for these main uh, chains. They've got all the information that you need. So um, the parachains aspect was quite cool. It gave much more um, exclusivity to projects building on the ecosystem. So they've done things a little bit differently compared to Ethereum, where everyone can build. Um, but it's also, as an investor, gives me some security in the thought process that they are very well vetted. 
uh, very public with what's going on and uh, the economy and ecosystem behind it is also quite unique and fixes a lot of problems in the space too. So super cool stuff. Uh, Kusama was one that I missed out on the last run up, you know, you find about it, find out about it a little bit too late and, uh, or, you know, the way that they launch some of these, it's a bit more exclusive again. Uh, but that's where, you know, right now we've got a good chance to get into some of these launch pads and stuff. So Kusama, you know, some of these other parachains on Polkadot uh, are definitely one of my interests right now. But um, yeah, lots to research. So more on that to come. But uh, is there anything you want to share on uh, uh, here, Justin? Yeah, on, on parachains, just the whole connectivity of of different blockchains under a similar umbrella, right? So like Ethereum, you're building on Ethereum, you're using that legacy blockchain. With Polkadot, the solution they brought is, you know, building parachains, which are their own chain, but have total connectivity across the entire Polkadot ecosystem. So I thought that was a really cool solution to bring to the table because that was one of the biggest, you know, issues that I could see with all these other crypto projects and assets building their own chains is you kind of have to commit to a handful of them. And then you have completely different operations within those ecosystems and you can't talk to each other. Right. Whereas Polkadot is really trying to build that connectivity solution where we can have an entire e ecosystem of different blockchains and different protocols with cross chain um, compatibility under one umbrella, which I thought was really cool. You know, there's, I guess there's a little bit of centralization there as everyone's kind of under this one umbrella, similar to how Ethereum's operating, but the, a ton of freedom of, of development. And, you know, I, yeah, I think it's a really cool project and, and brings us the industry truly needs. Yeah, sharing resources, massive, massive. So, yeah, that's one of my core investment strategies for this next run up is interoperability. So that's, you know, we look at a few different projects uh, that we've covered in the past, you know, bridges are main points of contest right now. If you want to say that there's a lot of hacks, a lot of hacks, some of the biggest hacks in the crypto space are because of interoperability um, bridges trying to bridge over from one network to the other. And that's a massive area for improvement, if you want to put it that way. Whereas if it's already built in, um, there's other projects out there that like Adam, uh, that are very much so that a lot of these other projects build, you know, Luna built on Adam, for instance, right? So, uh, parachains doing it a little bit differently. It's, uh, the launch pads are very cool and traditionally speaking, very successful as well. So worth looking into as far as the launch pads and, uh, yeah, Polka starter. There's a few aspects in there. Definitely worth looking through the entire ecosystem. Polkadot is definitely dedicate some time but uh yeah a lot of really cool stuff coming out there too so that's about it on my side justin was there anything else you wanted to cover on this one before we uh wrap it up no not polka dot just do your own research it's a it's a rabbit hole there is a ton going on in that ecosystem um i've been keeping track of it for quite a while and Every time I dive into it again, I find some new project or some new solution that they're they're working on to bring to the table to the industry. And it's 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 really inspiring how they're operating and, and sharing resources and just total community driven. So definitely worth checking out. Highly recommended. We're worth researching and, and seeing what they're doing. Couldn't agree more. So that's it for this week. Let us know in the comments what you like best, uh, any topics you'd like us to cover more in depth in the future. And of course, uh, we want to hear from you as well. If there's a parachain or a project that you're really excited about on the Polkadot network, let us know. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.